What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, and today the ERD is back in its militarized d division for today's episode. As you can tell, we have essentially over encumbered our F 18 build with bombs. Uh, one of you guys suggested BD Armory instead of the shit bomb mod I had, which it turns out most of the, most of the bombs were from this pack. Um, so the BD Armory, some of the bombs do have the odd flight dynamic of wanting to create lift, but most of them work really well, including some of the great missiles. So let's, uh, let's crash this fucker. This thing likes to lift off right away. Um, what I can do is I could put this in a craft file, but you'd have to have BD Armory, so I'd also have to link that. I've already linked this craft uh, prior, so you could just go back, find this craft, download that, download BD Armory, stick a cruise missile on the butt, cluster bombs, some funny missile things, some bombs, a GU-8 machine gun on the front, and you'd have essentially the same craft. So just do it that way. Just do it on your own. It should. It, it's definitely more rewarding to build things yourself, I find anyways, rather than to, to download someone's complete work. It's one of the reasons I don't really like to download pre-built craft. Over a 5,500 meter ceiling. Let's bank back around. I've played a little bit with this. I actually did a little bit of practice just to make sure I knew what I was doing with these and they were actually going to fire properly. Of course they didn't. And it took a bit of, you know, jerry-rigging, like the cruise missile was set to fire off its, its rockets right away, so it just took the front end of my F-18 off. That was pretty funny. Um, uh, assigning numbers for things and then trying to make those numbers uh, logical and whatnot, like... Awesome. That kind of stuff. But I already recommend it over that other mod. That other bomb mod was just shit. Uh, but I can tell that that bomb mod was built off this bomb mod because some of these bombs are exactly the same art and have some of the same um, weird flight dynamics. All right, we're going to pitch down. And let's see, that's about. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's try it. Let's try it. Bombs away! Oh, it's gonna miss. It's gonna miss just a little bit, I think. If I steer it. It's probably laser guided. Oh, fuck. Let that be a warning! Oh, yeah, I'm flying, aren't I? Uh, boogie back around, pull the hard like 10, 15 Gs. Get the throttle back on because we're crashing. And we're crashing, and we're crashing. The GU-8 looks really sweet, but um, I haven't figured out how to fire it yet. I know it has something to do with this manager, but I haven't been able to figure out how to assign a button to said GU-8. Yeah, so someday. Someday we'll fire it, and it will be awesome. What is this? Open GUI? No, I already have the GUI open. I wish I could close that GUI. All right, here we go. Round two. Fight. Uh, what button was it? Nope. Yep. Yep. See it, fellows? What do we got here? Okay, those are going to miss. Are there some ahead? Wasn't there two more? Oh, that was it. Those first two were a direct hit. Holy shit. Uh, sorry. My bad. I'd say it's my first day on the job, but... It's definitely not. All right, let's rip back around. Where was those rockets? There they are. Well, they're unguided, so you gotta aim high. It's like a Nothing? Oh, I thought I did the tower. Sorry. There's like a family of four over there in their station wagon. My apologies. Uh, we definitely haggard that vertical launch bay. Thing. What, the, what the fuck does VAB stand for again? I totally just gapped. I, I know it, I just can't remember it right now. That is awesome. What do we have? We have cluster bombs left. Let's get some height. Co 
come back around for a kind of a low, fast pass. Let's see if we can't just cluster bomb the fuck out of that whole place. I'm assuming each little bomb inside is more like personnel killing. Wouldn't be like huge bombs in there ready to take out tanks or anything, but we should get a lot of little pops, I think. Something like that. You'll see. You'll see. Alright. Come back around. Beauty. Okay. Um, let's drop one. Boink. And two. Boink. So they stagger out just a little bit. Oh, I saw them pop. Oh, that's a lot of little dots. I doubt you guys will be able to see them. It might just look like snow to you, but you're going to see the explosions. Oh, that was awesome! Those are actually pretty sweet. Um, like I said, they're definitely like personnel killing kind of little cluster bomb. Not, not necessarily the explosion you'd want to bring down a building. <laughs> but if there was soldiers on the ground there, little little Kerbal soldiers, they'd be so fucked. They'd be so fucked. Like, that is a mega closed casket kind of situation. Going a little fast. Just shutting off some speed here while I... Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made! I'm making so many mistakes. Oh, god damn it. God damn it, give me my mouse back. Awesome. Okay, let's um let's do a relaunch. And let's try this again, shall we? Cause I kinda wanna play with those cluster bombs again. Oh, did I just put the God damn it! Took the cluster, or sorry, the um, <laughs> took the cruise missile right off. Oh my god, that's not an accurate depiction of what a cruise missile would look like getting scraped to death underneath an F-18. I have a feeling it would be much more violent than that. All right, we're gonna turn the brakes off. There we go. Hit the afterburns. Let's do a like an aircraft carrier takeoff. Oh god. Oh god, lift. There we go. Whew. As we fall off. Yeah, that would, that's about how long it would... Oh wait, no. The aircraft carrier would probably be about this long, wouldn't it? We should... I should really make... Like a stock aircraft carrier. You know, like make that Hawaiian island more of a militarized area and put an aircraft carrier over there. That would be sweet. I would love to land on a stock aircraft carrier. I'm going to say that because I know you guys are going to be like... Oh, well, here's a download link to some dude's 3,000-piece aircraft carrier. No, thanks. <laughs> no, thank you. I can barely deal with four or 500 parts at a time. That International Space Station is just a shit show. It's only like 1,300 or 1,400. Let's start. Let's start with the bombs. We're going to come in low and fast, because I think that's how... That's how you gotta play those things. I use the GU8. It turns on this little pointy thing. I think that's actually the best part of this mod, is knowing where my nose is pointing. Coming in hot, like 500 miles an hour. Dumping bombs. I'm just gonna watch from up here. Perfect. Those were absolutely fucking perfect. I kind of feel bad about those, actually. I just made a shit ton of widows. We're gonna boogie back around. We're gonna do a slow pass and dump those clusters. A 
fast, actually. Bombs away. Where are they? Oh, they're there, like right underneath us. As all that personnel came out to see what just happened. We hit them with the, uh, the old clusters. Alright, we've got the cruise. What we could do... Cruise altitude. What if we put the cruise altitude at like... Fucking 30 feet. Came in really hot along the ground. And then dumped it straight ahead at... Oh, well, that's what we're gonna do. Let's see if I can hit the um, space plane hangar. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think because it's the tallest target. I mean, the, the hitting the um, satellite dishes would look pretty cool, but we're never gonna hit them. They're so small. So if we want to hit something, it's probably gonna have to be the space plane hangar. Yeah, I really like this, this set of mods, mostly just for the missiles. I mean, come on, that is just awesome. Did these run out? Okay, yep. Yeah, they do run out. I guess however many holes there are there. Oh. I think they had little caps before, so I bet you as you're shooting them out, you can probably just take a glance here and be like, I've got about seven or eight of them left. But again, you could probably figure out how to work this thing, and this little manager will tell you all about how many you have left. Yes. I mean, someday someday we will know these things, and it will be good. We just don't. Right now. All right, we're going to get low, because that is a prerequisite. Oh, wait, it's going to drop for 1,000. One, one, one thousand. One second. It's going to drop. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we want to be a couple hundred meters. Not too many meters meters is meters high. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Nice and done. Is it gonna pull up? Okay. That's cool. That's cool, man. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I don't know how I feel about that. It didn't cruise. I guess you, we probably need a part. We need like a GPS thing or like a laser guided thing or a something or other thing. And again, this is literally like I've been, I've, I've had this mod for like 17 minutes. So we'll figure it out as we go. I'll figure it out. Feel free to comment, but I'll probably, by the time you comment, you know, the way I do these videos, by the time you comment, I've probably already figured it out. <laughs> so don't be dicks about it. <laughs> uh... But yeah, this is a, this was a, a successful test of the BD Armory's um, militarized mod, I guess, for lack of a better thing. Because it's not just a bomb mod, there's a ton of shit. Apparently you can do like AI fights, and like I could have this, this craft all loaded up with bombs, and I could send it out and then have an AI turn around and try to attack me in like a different plane. We'd have like dogfights and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but it's definitely something that you guys might be super interested in. So I'm going to link BD Armory, and I've already linked this F-18 in a previous video. So feel free to go back, download the F-18 and the BD Armory, and then stick it together like this. But I always encourage you guys, build it yourself. DIY. All right, guys. I hope you like the video. Hope you comment. Hope you share. Hope you do all those things you guys do as YouTubers. And until next time, guys, peace, love, cheers.